These are the new features for FileMaker Go in FileMaker 18. Be sure to check out the description for links to all of the new feature videos and the free course at Productive Computing University for all the videos in one place. There's only a few here. Open specific app at launch with MDM, OAuth 2.0 support in iOS app SDK, the append to existing PDF in a script step and the enhanced barcode support for PDF 417, ITF 14, Aztec, and Data Matrix. So we'll look at a couple of these. I have 17 and 18 open side by side. On the left, we have 17, and on the right, we have 18. So we take a look at FileMaker Go. We really want to look at the save records as PDF script steps. So let's look at the 17 scripts and here is the save records as PDF. And we actually do have the checkbox to append existing PDF even with the iOS compatible checked here. It's, it's still showing as available. And that is actually no different than in 18, we also have the append to existing PDF. So those are the same. And you may not have even known that it wasn't supported unless you went to the 17 help guide online for save records as PDF. We have partial listed for FileMaker Go. And then in the notes, it mentions here that append to existing PDF is not supported. So it's nice that that now works like the FileMaker Pro Advanced. The next feature has to do with the barcodes. And this is in the insert from device script steps. So if we look at that example here, we have insert from device type barcode. And when you select that, it gives you several options here. And notice that it ends with code bar. So you go from here down to here towards the bottom of this at code bar. But let's look at the script workspace in 18 for that same script when we choose barcode. Here was the one that we had for 17, but now we have these four new ones available in 18. Of course, you can check these at will, depending on which ones you want. So we have four more, and maybe that doesn't really mean anything to you. So I just thought I'd show you an example of what those look like. There's PDF 17, several options just from an image search online. There's ITF 14, and there is Aztec. You may have seen one similar to that, and then the data matrix. So not a lot of changes for FileMaker Go, but definitely a couple of nice improvements. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description for links to other new feature videos for FileMaker 18 and the free course at Productive Computing University for all of the videos in one place, as well as other courses to enhance your skills as a FileMaker developer.